Hey coin collectors, welcome back to CoinAz. This is highly sought after quarter variety 1950 Washington quarter with D over S repunched mint mark. Brilliant superb gem in MS67 condition. The smooth and lustrous surfaces are brilliant and display frosty white luster. It is expertly preserved. Specialists in Washington quarter varieties have long taken note of a strange occurrence on the branch mint issues of 1950. When one branch ordered a set of dyes, the dye cutter at the Philadelphia Mint took an already prepared branch mint dye and simply punched in the requested mint mark. Then later the converse occurred, producing the fascinating D over S and S over D varieties. It's not known which came first, though it's well established that 1950 D over S FS601 is a rare of the two varieties in gem mint state by margin of almost 4 to 1. If you have such rare quarters or other coins you want to sell, watch this video until the end and I'll show you where you can advertise them for sale. This superb gem ended up selling for $22,800 at Stax Powers auction. Quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to activate subscribe and notification buttons below this video. This is 1937 Lincoln Cent in PR67 red cameo condition. No imagination needed here to see full cameo effect. This coin is a real deal and then some. Immaculate mirrors beam intensely from all over. The mirrors have super clarity and are super clean. When you twirl the coin, all you see is a rolling, nearly blinding river of gem red colors. There are no spots or discoloration, however, there are small patches of pure toning in microscopic form. Lincoln looks as handsome as ever. He is fully struck and has real sick frost. The eye appeal is sensational. It was sold for $24,675 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. This is 1948 Roosevelt Diamond Mint State 68 with full bands, the amazing multicolored iridescence that occupies most of the obverse and the reverse border of this sharply struck superb gem helps to create the overall aesthetic appeal that makes the piece so compelling to examine. Undoubtedly, the underlying shimmering luster is another important attribute. When impeccable preservation is added, a rare marriage of technical perfection and stunning visual appeal is achieved. It was sold for $4,800 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1929S Lincoln Cent in MS66 Plus red condition, CAC proven superb gem. The CAC label refers to Certified Acceptance Corporation, a third party coin grading and authentication service. CAC reviews coins graded by other reputable grading companies and affixes their distinctive green sticker to coins they deem to be of exceptional quality for their assigned grade. The CEC approved coins often command higher prices and are sought after by collectors for their added reassurance of quality. A luminous, satiny, full red example of the San Francisco issue showing a bold strike and a beautiful preservation. A long fleck at the lower left reverse rim serves as a pedigree marker. This gem was bargained for $18,600 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with his 2013D Kennedy of Dollar in MS68 plus condition. The plus in this case signifies that the coin has a grade above MS68, meaning it has exceptional eye appeal and few if any noticeable imperfections. Coins with a plus designation are considered to be of superior quality within their respective grade range. The value of 2013D Kennedy Alpha Dollar MS68 Plus can vary depending on factors such as demand, rarity, and overall condition. Typically, coins with higher grades and exceptional eye appeal tend to command higher prices among collectors. This super gem fetched the sum of $4,952.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on with his 1983P Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps, lightly toned in silver grey, both sides reveal iridescent undertones of champagne apricot and to a lesser extent powder blue as a coin dips into a light. The 1983P is a poorly produced 1980S Nickel issue with full steps examples, surprisingly rare throughout the mint state grading scale. 
it ended up selling for $4,800 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 1953 Roosevelt Dime in MS67 condition with full bands. This enchanting specimen is glowing with silvery gray luster and surfaces are void of distractions on either side. On the reverse side of the Roosevelt Dime, there is an image of an olive branch, a torch, and an oak branch. The torch is part of a design that's relevant to the full bands designation. The bands on the torch represent a separation between the flames. And when the coin is struck, these bands should be fully visible and distinct. The full bands designation is used by grading services to indicate that the bands on the torch are fully struck and well defined. This dime was sold for $1,100.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1941 Lincoln Cent in PR67 red condition. The watery mirrors are almost entirely copper orange with subtle rainbow iridescence at the right of birth and reverse margins. The strike is bold and the eye appeal is as impressive as the preservation. The 1941 proof cents were produced to the extent of only 21,100 pieces at a time when collectors could order their favorite denominations from the mint individually. This praiseworthy super gem red coin is certified in a green label holder and it ended up selling for $18,400 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1953D Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. This virtually pristine superb gem is beautifully toned in iridescent golden apricot and champagne pink. The colors blend with soft satiny mint luster that is full and expectably smooth for a signed grade. While the Denver Mint produced a respectable total of 59,878,600 nickels, as a whole, the coiners did a poor job and turned out a mostly ill defined issue. Scars in all mint state grades within the full steps category, the 1953D is an extraordinary strike and condition rarity in PCGS MS67 full steps. It was sold for $5,040 at Stax Bowers Auction. This is 1942 Lincoln Cent struck on experimental planchette. It is a regular Lincoln Cent design struck in a white metal alloy consisting of 93% tin and 7% antimony. During the World War II, metals needed for coinage was also needed for the war effort. In 1942, US government as well as private firms looked into different coinage alloys. They were tested for possible use to those ends. Everyone knows about the final product, the ubiquitous 1943 steel penny. And many have sold in change one of the copper 1943s. But for many years these rarities which led up to the creation of the common zinc coated steel planchets that were adopted were overlooked by specialists and only recently has more scholarly research been done to explain how these coins came about, as well as many different variations that go well beyond the listings in Jude. It was sold for $24,675 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. This is 1970D Kennedy Alf Dollar in MS64 condition with DPL designation. The DPL or Deep Proof Like designation indicates that the coin exhibits deep proof like surfaces. Deep proof like coins have reflective surfaces similar to proof coins, which are specially minted coins with mirror like finishes intended for collectors. The DPL designation suggests that the coin has exceptionally reflective fields and sharp details, similar to a proof coin. This superb gem ended up selling for $2137.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1959 Roosevelt Dime in MS68 condition with full torch, very nicely toned with bold, vibrant satin mint luster that brings out the olive gold, icy blue and rosy hues on both sides. The eye appeal is totally original and even with a strong glass, it's almost impossible to find any flaws anywhere. It was sold for $5,287.50 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Here is 1969S Lincoln Cent with double diverse circulated error penny in AU55 condition. This popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety was discovered in mid 1970s and is one of the most dramatic and arguably the rarest variety in the entire series. 
Strong doubling is obvious on all of worst lettering than the date. The 1969S double die is listed number one among the 100 greatest US modern coins. The present coin is an impressive choice EU specimen, with only light wear on the well-detailed design elements and lightly abraded steel brown surfaces. It was sold for $17,400 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1945D Mercury Diamond Mint State 68 with full bands designation. The 1945D is a World War II issue that will never be rare in typical mint state. Unlike its Philadelphia counterpart, the full bands examples are plentiful. But at the MS68 level, the issue becomes an important conditional rarity. These well-struck and pristine representative exhibits dappled tobacco brown and navy blue toning more prominently on the reverse. Sold on June 6, 2023 for $2,880 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. Keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next episode.